from the AC slalom lines, free ride lines. We have uh, the four lines which are needed for the different needs of uh, everyone who wants to go on flat water and uh, slaloming, free riding. So we have all the levels of sail. We have the ACF, ACX, ACK and AC1. Practically four lines to satisfy everyone. Why is this? It's not that if you take a racing sail like the AC1, four cameras, white mass lead, uh, or you take a free ride more slalom sail like the ACF, you're gonna have um, a product for the beginners or a product for the professional. It's just different style of sails which you want to have to enjoy the flat water. Let's start with the ACF and the ACX just to compare the difference between the two sails, which one to choose. The ACF is a free ride sail and uh, in 6.9 and 7.5 it has 6 buttons. It has a slalom outline and uh, in the smaller sizes from 6.4, 5.9, you actually have the 5 buttons. All the sails have tubular buttons so that you will have a nice uh, slalom performance thanks to the tubular buttons which are going to hold also the profile in stronger winds. And uh, at the same time, the smaller sizes, you can also uh, bring them to bump and jump conditions. And th this is the ACF. If you go to the ACX, you actually have on the ACX seven buttons. The outline is fully for, from a slalom sail. There's no compromise with the outline. And uh, it has been made to blast with no compromise at full speed, even if it has no cams. So which one you choose? The ACF or the ACX? It's pretty simple. The AC ACF is a lighter sail which has in a smaller size more power. The ACX is made to, in to be more enjoyable when the wind hits in a little bit like stronger. So when you start to have a little bit more power in the sail you will find that the sail starts to develop an amazing performance while the ACF will perform already in very light winds. So you can actually compare like if you take a 6.9 from the ACF the power and the planing of the sail is very close to a 7.5-8 meter of the ACX. So the ACF allows you to go with smaller sail size in lighter wind, while the ACX uh, will, need a, will need to have a little bit bigger size compared to the ACF. So the advantage of the ACF in this case is that you will have a smaller, lighter sail, more compact to plane early, even with a bigger board size volume, while the ACF you will have to have a little bit more power to bring it to, the, to have the maximum performance of it. But once it gets going, and uh, even if the sail gets really overpowered, the speed will be endless, there will be no limit to it, and uh, you will actually get to a point where you're challenging the, no the, the canvas sail without any problem. So if you're looking for like a more comfortable sail, something a bit easier, this yes, is very quick sail. It's not slow, it's a fast sail as well. And in smaller sizes, it will be amazing if you can take the 5.9, 5.4, even into waves and try the wave riding with the sails. Well, for the ACX, the sail is going to be the real pure pedigree slalom sail, which I would have no limits. So let's now compare the ACX on this side, this time, and the ACK on this side. Both are pure slalom sails. One has no cams, the other one has the cambers. So the ACK has the campers, the ACX has no camps. How to choose between the two? It's very simple. Do you like camps? 
take the ACK. You don't like cams? Take the ACX. Apart from this, what are the advantages of having the ACK against the ACX? The ACK has uh, the, the cams and the wires in it. This means the profile is always formed. There's always a profile in the sail. So when you start planing, the profile is ready formed, so the acceleration will be immediate. When you will come out of the jive, the profile will be already there, so the acceleration of the sail will be immediate and it will bring you to the spot, stop speed at a very, a very short distance. While the ACX will not, does not have a profile form, it does not have the cams, therefore when the wind hits in the sail, the, sail, the mass will bend, will create a profile and then it will accelerate. So the acceleration of the cam sail of the ACK is faster than the one of the ACX due to this reason. Um, when you will hit a low, so when the wind will drop a little bit, there will be a cold wind between the reach you're doing, the ACK, thanks to the cameras, will keep the profile so the speed will not slow down. Why? On the ACX, the, the profile tends to decrease a little bit Therefore, when it's decreasing, the speed of the sail will also decrease a little bit compared to the cam sail. So at this point, you will have disadvantages of, on the cam sail. The acceleration and the, let's say, average speed in a very gusty place. So if you live in a very gusty place, the ACK will make you feel like this, uh, this, the, the reach you're going to do, the distance you're going to do, the speed will be more constant while you have more operation on the, on the sail with no cams. Now, if you're sailing in a place where the wind is anyway gusty but still the intensity is always good, you will not suffer with a no cam sail, especially our ACX. The ACX has a very active profile, therefore the difference with a no cam, with a cam sail is not that big also in the acceleration or in the gusty winds, but still basically has this advantage over the ACX. Now, if you're talking about driving, on the ACX, it's like having a weight sail. Therefore, even if you do a jive which is not perfect, the, 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 the result at the end of the jive, even if you do some mistakes, it will forgive you and therefore you can have a better jive. While with the ACK, having the camp having the musty wider, you will need to perform a perfect jive to actually then appreciate the acceleration out, out of the jive. So it's like, yes, the ACK will bring you to acceleration faster, but if your driving in the end is not as good, then it's possible that the ACX will actually give you a better drive performance against the ACK. Both the ACK and the ACX have the same sail body. The body of the sails are exactly the same. They both have some buttons. The outline is very similar. Um, so what is really changing is just the mass lead and the cams on the AC plane, which the ACX does not have. But for the rest, everything is very, very similar. So it's really up to you whether you want to have the camber feeling or the, the no cam uh, feeling. Both are really good, both are really fast. Once the, 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 they are launched to top speed, there will be no difference between the two models. As I said before, one will be just easier to jive because of the no cam and the smaller mass lead. The other one will have more acceleration and therefore you just have to choose which of the two will be better for you. So now we talk about uh, the ACK and the AC1. The AC1 being a full racing sail and the ACK having the three cam slalom performance. So the differences are that the AC1 has eight buttons, four cambers, has a higher uh, um, outline so therefore the mass length is longer and it's a bit more narrow in the boom. So the ACK has the three cams, seven buttons, and a shorter outline, meaning that it's lower in the left length and a bit wider. So what is the main difference? The main difference is actually the power of the sail. On the AC1, you will have a lot of power, and on the ACK, you will have less power. But it's not the power, meaning that one is going to play early and one is not. It's more, that's the main difference, actually. So the power of the AC1 is a power which actually pulls you downwind, it gives you um, power all the time, whether you're covered from people, whether you're coming out of a drive, um, and uh, anytime you actually have this power to handle. 
The ACK has different kind of power, power which allows you to get planning early, which is comfortable to hold, which allows you to go upwind without too much effort. So when you compare the two powers, it's, it's different. The ACK will actually allow you to uh, sail like for two hours with the same energy you're going to put in one hour with the AC1. So sometimes you might jump on a race sail and feel that it's heavy, but it's not heavy, it's actually the power of the sail. ACK has different power, which actually allows you to play, but it does not get onto your body. So in the end, if you take the ACK, you will have an easier sail, which allows you to play early, so that the 7-8 you can compare to the same size as, a, as an 8-6. So if you're using an 7-8 for three camps, you're actually uh, going to uh, use a 7-8 while on the same type of wind you would use an 8-6 in a racing sail, like the AC-1. So this is the main difference. Why, why is this? On a slum sail, like on a full racing sail, you're actually looking to have this power to get you out of a, a situation where you might be covered by other competitors. You have to fly out the jive when you jive the sail. If you can get the most advantage out of the acceleration from this power, you will actually jump in front of the pack. While the ACK will give you the sensation of in the camp sails, which allows you to have a nice flow through the wind and the gusty conditions, it will give you the acceleration as well uh, to, let's say, fight with your friends on the water. But at the same time, it will not get you as tired as in a full racing sail. So if you're feeling fit, if you're feeling ready to have no compromise on a slalom sail, okay, then you can go on a full racing sail with four, ca uh, four cameras and eight buttons configuration with all the power that the racing monster can give you. While if you're looking to have like a racing performance, but at the same time something easier to drive, something easier to water start, because massively with the ACK is much smaller, massively with the AC1 is much wider. So if you fall in and you take your time to water start, on the AC1 you will have a lot of water in the and even if it's kind of floating over the water, so it's not that you're filling it straight away, but still, you take your time, if you are not like willing to put too much technique in it, it would be more difficult to drive, it would be more difficult to water start, while the ACK would be just much easier to, to do all this to maneuver, to water start. So it's kind of, you will have that tiny acceleration less, but a great speed and an easy sail, while the AC1 would be just aiming to give you the max power all the time, so you would be ready and fit for it. So if you have to choose between the ACK and AC1, if you think that you're going to race, you're going to want to join some uh, uh, racing events and stuff like this, then okay, go for it. But if you just plan to have fun on a long sail with camps, that you like the camp feeling and just want to be fast, as fast as the AC1, the ACK is a great choice.